We're here on the LG stand at CES 2016, and I'm joined by Rob Taylor from LG to talk about their new TV lineup. So, Rob, looking around, it's all OLED everywhere. What have you got in terms of OLED TVs for 2016? It's going to be a really big year for us at 2016. It's um, a really, really comprehensive lineup. We have OLED TV this year. You would have seen from our press conference today, we announced our new signature lineup, which goes across not only TV but also home appliances. But within the TV world for OLED this year, we have our G6 flagship model, which is a 77 inch and a 65 inch really super premium TV, which focuses not only on the great picture aspect virtues of OLED, but also some fantastic design. That G6 model is also supported with an E6 model, which is again a really, really super slim, uh, very sexy looking OLED TV, followed by a C6 curved OLED 4K screen and a B6 flat 4K screen as well. So OLED's a massive part of our lineup this year and it's a big focus point for us. I think some interesting points to mention as well with, with our OLED TVs is we'll be carrying over our full HD OLED TV as well. So we'll have five OLEDs all in all, um, different series um, that range from 55 inch to 77 inch. And then our OLED TVs will be arriving to market from about April through to May and, and June as well for some of the larger screens. There's um, a real buzz around OLED for us this year because we've really upgraded the product not only in terms of its design but also its picture and with HDR through the lineup and also with uh, Color Prime as playing a bigger role within our lineup as well all supported with a, you know an upgraded WebOS platform so OLED is a, a real real big focus for us this year in 2016. Just taking a look around one of the things that really I noticed initially is a lot of flat screens this time in terms of OLED um, what was the decision behind going flat rather than curved? Yeah so we have three flats in the new series and then one curved and the curved one is the C6 series which is 65 and 55 inch. I think what we've seen in the market is actually mutual acceptance for both flat and for curved. So when we launched flat TV in the market we saw some real demand shift to flat as a primary sort of screen but recently we've seen curve become more of an important or more selected type of uh, design and form factor. So we just want to offer choice basically and have both options you know that's why we've kept a curved TV in the lineup. Okay, let's uh, break it down then, starting at the top with the uh, flagship G6. What are the key features on that TV? Yes, yeah, so the flagship G6 is a real, real special TV. So first and foremost, what makes it special and what sets it apart from every other TV is the fact that it is an OLED TV. So we have that you know, much enhanced picture quality compared to normal LCD. But if you look outside of the picture quality element, the reason why it's one of our signature models is for its design. It's really, really premium in its look and feel but it also takes into consideration some real, real sort of like master strokes in terms of design. You'll see a stand base, which doubles up as a sound bar, which can be almost inverted and placed underneath the TV, which can create a wall mounted effect as well. You'll see uh, multi-channel speakers, so 4.2 inch, 4.2 channel system at 60 watts as well. And you'll see a great new design concept at the front of the sound bar speaker as well. So overall, the signature series, the G6 is, is a real, real marquee product for us. In terms of pitch quality, how does this generation differ from the previous generation of OLED TVs? So we have the addition now of HDR, so we have the sort of the, the latest in terms of broadcasting standards. And we've got increased color um, performance as well. So with our Color Prime Plus, we can achieve 99, up to 99% of DCI. We can achieve you know, up to 130% color representation over BT709. So we have much better color representation, higher brightness levels as well. So we can achieve greater peak luminance and uh, overall sort of a brighter OLED screen which again is, is naturally better for HDR because of its uh, deeper contrast and higher brightness as well. So um, overall, there's been some major improvements in, in picture quality. I guess that sounds all very, sounds very exciting. The first thing anyone's going to ask is uh, two things really. Uh, when is it going to be available? Yeah. Uh, screen sizes and also, of course, price. Yeah, yeah, so our flagship G6 products will be available in about the second week of March and it'll be 65 inch and 77 inch, so larger screens. Our E6 model will be available in the second week of April, 65, 55 inch. B6, C6 um, will be slightly later. The B6 particularly will be around about mid-May. And that's again 55 and 65 inch. And then the C6 will be available a little bit earlier than that towards the end of March. So how will the uh, G6 differ from the E6? So the G6 and E6, the primary difference is around the design of the TV. So the G6 features the folding base with the enhanced speaker sound. Um, whereas the E6 is again a primary flat base with front firing sound, so the design is the major differentiating factor. In terms of PQ, then they're basically the same. Basically the same, yes. One thing I um, wanted to ask was: Are all these do all these TVs support 3D? Not all of them support 3D. So our B6 model, our flat sort of uh, starting point of the OLED TV series, that's a 2D model. But the C6, the E6, and the G6 all support passive 3D again. 
In terms of other differences, how do the C6 and the V6 differ from the uh, G and the E6? Yes, yeah, so the B6 and the C6 almost are viewed together. So what we have is the B6 being a flat 2D model, and then the C6 being a curved 3D model. And then we step up into our E6 model, which is again featuring a much enhanced design, um, front firing sound, and then our G6 is obviously the marquee model, the flagship model with the folding base and again enhanced sound and, and super, super slim. We're almost calling it blade slim because it's it's only you know less than five millimeters at its, at its thinnest point. So very, very slim TV, which we call blade slim. I assume at this point I'm going to ask the question anyway. Um, you can't comment on pricing yet, I take it. No, so pricing is something that we will follow up with. Obviously, it's difficult for us to say right now because you know here we are in January and we all know the market moves so quickly. And, and obviously, as as we move through the year, there'll be some, some big key selling seasons and promotions. So we have to figure out where the pricing will sit, but we'll follow up with that shortly. What TVs? On, in the LG lineup will actually be um, premium UHD TVs. Yeah, I think first and foremost with the UHD Alliance and the premium certification, the great thing that they've done is they've also recognized OLED as a separate device. So it's not just an LCD sort of standard, it's, it's a standard that takes into consideration OLED, which is why you can see in the actual standards that the, the NIT level is really, really low because it's clearly representing the black level of OLED. Um, which is great because that's what we want. We want the industry to embrace OLED as a, as a you know, superior technology and a different technology to LCD. But I think the key thing with the Ultra HD Premium Alliance is that it is part of our OLED lineup and also our UHD lineup as well, so our LCD UHD lineup as well. So we're really pleased that we have a common market standard that we can adhere to, and I think that will really, really help consumers understand a lot more about 4K and HDR potentially as well, with a common logo and, and a specification that kind of meets a lot of the LG lineup as well. I think it's a good idea, obviously, to have some sort of standardization to avoid consumer confusion. But what would you say to consumers who bought a TV last year and now yeah. say, well, mine's not a premium UHD TV? Yeah, uh, that's, that's, uh, that's all, you know, we're in the world of technology and technology always moves. Um, you know, what we buy today is not necessarily what's going to be, you know, the latest and greatest tomorrow. That's unfortunately the world that we live in. But what we can say is, you know, for anyone that's bought an OLED or an LG TV, a UHD TV last year, you know, we are still supporting great services on there. So if it is 4K or HDR, you know, we can, with last year's model, watch HDR on our, on our OLED TV from Amazon, say for example, as you could do with this year's model. It's just that last year we weren't working to a defined standard from the UHD Alliance. This year we have one to work with. So it's not necessarily a case of you lose something from last year compared to this year. It's just the way that unfortunately the technology industry moves and that there is a new standard that we adhere to. But nonetheless, LG work quite closely with, with the Ultra HD Alliance, so they're always taking into consideration our developments and we're always working with them on the latest developments on the device side as well. So it's the whole industry working together and that's what's great about this sort of logo and this sort of alliance. Rob, thank you very much. Thank you very much.